fighting continues in the north of the Kharkiv region. It became known that in the Staritsa area, Russian invaders attempted to increase the number of personnel, but the Ukrainian armed forces soldiers thwarted their plans by delivering precise strikes on the areas where enemy personnel and equipment were concentrated. The operational tactical grouping of troops of Kharkov reports on its official TG channel. In addition, representatives of the Ukrainian armed forces reported that in Glubako settlement, the enemy planned to conduct a rotation and is also searching for additional routes of movement. After significant losses, the Russian military refuses to carry out orders and combat missions. The Kharkov Operational Tactical Grouping of Troops claims. At the same time, the Ukrainian military TG channel emphasizes that the situation in the Kharkov direction remains quite difficult. The enemy continues to regularly storm the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces. Let us add that in the front line, Volchansk of the Kharkov region, Russian occupiers carried out a single movement of personnel. According to the operational tactical grouping of troops of Kharkov, this was done for the purpose of conducting logistical support as well as replenishing losses incurred during the battles. There has been an increase in the use of shells produced by the North Korea by the Russian army, the Ukrainian military emphasized. Recently, soldiers of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine have recaptured positions from the Russian army and rescued four Ukrainian servicemen from Russian captivity. This was reported by the press service of the brigade and the tactical group Kremenaya. It is reported that while moving between positions on the combat line in the Lehman direction, four Ukrainian servicemen were ambushed by an enemy sabotage group numbering up to 10 people. The servicemen, taken by surprise, were unable to put up effective resistance, so the Russians captured them and led them to their positions under cover of a forest belt. The soldiers of the 3rd Assault noticed suspicious movement near the combat engagement line through a UAV camera and found out that a group of servicemen attached to the brigade had not reached their destination and there was no contact with them. It took several minutes to find out the reasons. In a gap in the greenery, the UAV operator noticed the movement of an enemy sabotage and reconnaissance group and reported this to the commander. Progress of the operation, the commander of one of the battalions of the 3rd Assault immediately assessed the situation and gave the order for a rapid reaction group to leave to destroy the sabotage group and rescue the prisoners. The soldiers immediately loaded into an M113 armored personnel carrier and moved out to intercept the Russians. They caught up with them when they were already approaching their positions. The servicemen of the 3rd Assault immediately entered the battle, tying up the enemy with assault fire. Leaving the prisoners behind, the enemy was forced to shoot back. Rocket interceptions were seen on Vaden's Day over the city of Haifa in northern Israel. The city is being continuously attacked by rockets launched from Lebanon, more intensively in the last few days. Israel is at war with Hamas in Gaza and its ally Hezbollah in Lebanon, which began firing rockets at Israel on October 8, 2023. Nearly 2,000 people have been killed in Lebanon since then, most of them since September 23, according to the Lebanese Health Ministry. More than 41,800 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza, just over half women and children, according to local health officials. Explosions lit up the night sky of Beirut late on Monday as Israel carried out airstrikes in the Lebanese capital. 
The strikes happened as the world marked one year since the latest war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza began. Israel's military said fighter jets targeting Hezbollah's positions bombarded southern Lebanon with more than 120 strikes in an hour. In a possible sign of the expansion of its campaign, Israel said it would soon launch operations on Lebanon's southern coast, telling residents to stay off the beaches and the sea for a 60-kilometer stretch along the Mediterranean. Lebanon's Hezbollah, which has been firing rockets into Israel for the past year in support of its ally, Hamas, launched more than 170 across the border on Monday. Israel's strikes in Lebanon since late September have killed at least 1,400 people, including civilians, medics, and Hezbollah fighters, and 1.2 million have been driven from their homes.